this no, ring right you? here because that ring's going to hold us off too. Wait a minute, I got it locked back down. What's the SUV with collars? Jim, while they're getting set up there, would you can you tell me a little bit about the process that you guys are going through right now? <laughs> this gun's being a bear. <laughs> It's actually, it's actually not allowing us to, to drill into it. And what we got to do is we got to drill a small hole into it so we can tap, get a tap that hole going, so we can insert a screw, so we'll have an attach point for the electrolysis. And it's, uh, it's not playing nicely. That that metal is is a little bit harder than the going through the concretion is nothing. Uh, we can drill right through that, but it's when we hit that solid iron, it is. Uh, it's not playing nicely. Yep. Now, now you have to do this in order to be able to drop it into the tank and get it ready for the preservation yeah, process? And, yeah, we're doing it on the bottom of the gun so that bolt's not noticeable. And yeah, we're not drilling it all the way in so it's a load bearing. Yeah, so it's just literally, we're just trying to score the surface just enough to get that bolt to bite once or twice so we'll have, we'll be able to hook wires up to it. Okay. It'll be a secure, a secure uh, mount for the for the wires. So actually nothing we're doing is gonna hurt the cannon. It looks like it, but it's not. He's going to need help spinning, and we're going to need bracing on this end. This pull up better than one All right, and then the road plane is right here. He bought the freight we're talking about. Yeah, uh, that's over him, too, there, there. Gonna be up and up to let the gas out. I think so. If you're looking at it, yeah, yeah. Good gym. Put it in there. That's right. Right back there. Yeah. Only thing we're missing was somebody with the cigar in their mouth standing there. Yeah, I love it when a plan comes together. Billy right now, I'm the deputy state archaeologist in North Carolina, the director of the underwater archaeology. This is not a hands-off operation. It requires constant monitoring, which is why it's right here with Jim and his guys. And Jim, if you would talk to us a little bit about that monitoring process uh, that you're going to be doing yet, here at the site. Be on speed dial. <laughs> so if there's any questions, we'll be calling. But yeah, we're going to we're going to put a plan together. We should be getting the uh, electrical source next week, uh, and then we'll start assembling everything with the uh, you know to start the electrolysis. But right now, it's getting the ER process <laughs> will loosen all of that concretion, and it will come off a lot easier. Plus, the surface of the iron will, in effect, almost replate it and it will be stronger and it will bear up to the cleaning process, the mechanical awesome, cleaning it. process that will follow. And, and just once again, this is actually the first of its kind restoration here at Brunswick Town. Here at the site, yeah, yeah. All right. Hopefully not the last. As long as, as, long as we don't screw it up, I think it'll, it'll let us do it again. It's already broken. I noticed it was broken. So <laughs> sorry, we got, we sorry, got that we broke it. Nah, you know, <laughs> we that. Yeah, we got videos already I saw broke the pictures when it came out. I know. I got it. <laughs> Two by four. It's a beautiful thing. That's right. <laughs> 